are going to spray the edges of a few books. I've never done this before, so this could be a complete and utter disaster. I am going to practice on this book. I don't know if I got it in a box or somewhere else. No idea. Haven't read it yet, so it seems like the perfect type of book to practice on. And then I've got one of our books that I'm going to try. And this one already has like some like damage on the cover. Uh, it's like ink stained or whatever. And then also I'm going to do this one, which if you watch my unboxing video, you know that this book is messed up. There's no space from the top of the book. It was bound incorrectly essentially. And then there's too much space down here. So I think this is going to be a perfect one to spray as well. Take off this front cover. Oh, this has a sticker and a nameplate. This had to have come from a box. We're just going to go ahead and put this nameplate inside the book. We're going to put the sticker in there too because, you know, bougie like that. Probably spray it purple. I think purple will probably look really good with this cover. Also, I am using frog tape. It's for multi-surfaces. It's, it's like painter's tape, but green. We're going to use this to try to protect the book. I've also got cardstock. This is um, 65 pound. They had 80 pound, but I feel like that was going to be a little bit too thick. And so we're going to try this out. I also have a roll of brown like construction paper we might use on the books too i don't know but i am going to wrap the table in that when i start spraying yeah this is going to be great let's go ahead and start wrapping and protecting these books Make sure that your edges are well protected so like I still need to put some tape here if you have your spray paint bleed you don't want it to get on the inside of your book so I am going to continue doing that and then I'll show you what this looks like when I figure out how I'm gonna get tape in there I think I got it done. You can see that this edge is now protected. I'm gonna clamp it tight, very, very tight. So then the spray paint won't bleed between the pages. Without further ado, I guess it's time to go ahead and finish taping these up and then we're gonna head outside. I just need to get a little piece of tape here and then we're good with with this one what I'm literally doing I don't know if you can see it is I'm opening the book wide shoving tape down there gotta be patient and then bringing it over and letting it kind of like attach to it that way okay so I got that pretty good. Now I'm looking for any fill points and tape, like where it's just a little bit too thin. So like right here, I can still kind of see the cover. I'm just going to do some extra layers of protection. Yeah, it actually looks really good. So I think this one's good to go. We've got our two books. We're going to go outside. I'm going to use this clear top coat to do very thin layers on the pages because I read in an article that this helps with spray paint. And then we're gonna do both of these purple. So I hope I'm not about to ruin two books, but if I do, not a big deal. Also got one of these sprayers to help with the top of the spray paint because it's a little easier to do a trigger than to do like this. I learned that when we built the van out. It, my finger literally hurt. That's why I went for this type of can for the clear coat. It's a lot easier to handle. So we're gonna go outside and uh, hopefully it's not too windy. And if it is, then I'll just do a voiceover. So let's do this. I'm gonna wrap this table that y'all are sitting on with this paper. Um, here's the two books. We got our spray paint. As I told you, this is um, Fusion Krylon. I've got my, my spray grip. 
my frog painter's tape and my clear top coat. I'm gonna run inside and grab my respirator because it's just not safe to not have that with spray paint. Um, I need all my brain cells, so <laughs> I'm gonna go grab that and I'll be right back. Hopefully it's not too windy. I'm so sorry if it is. I'm going to take these scrap pieces of wood and I'm going to clamp around the book. Um, the reason why you'd want to use wood is so you're not like clamping down on your cover and you put any indentions in it. At least that was the tip somebody told me online. So I am going to just get these boards lined up like so. I'm going to use these handy dandy clamps and go to town, I guess. Be safe, guys. Y'all are doing projects. Protect your lungs, you know? Probably won't be able to hear me, but it's okay. So let's do this. So I'm gonna let that dry and I'm actually gonna go look for some smaller boards because this just ain't working. These boards are way too big. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna let this dry for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna come back. So yeah, meet you back here in just a second. Okay, so I've let it dry a little bit. I also found some smaller boards from when we were building out the van. It actually worked out really well. I'll show you in just a second, but I'm going to continue spraying on the side and I think it's going to turn out actually pretty good for my first try. So excited about that. I forgot my handle. I'm gonna let it dry clamped. So I'll probably see you back here in 30 minutes. I don't wanna overspray because I know how spray paint does. And I already feel like I kind of oversprayed a little bit, but that's why you tape it really well. The goal is to do a bunch of like light strokes with spray paint and not be so close up. I'll let this dry and then I'm probably gonna come back and do another coat on the front and on the sides again. And then I think it will be done done where I'll let it dry for like two hours and then show you the final result. I feel pretty confident about spraying our book now. So I'm pretty excited to see how that one turns out. Like this was just a practice run, but I kind of understand how it works now. So the goal here is to make sure that it's tightly clamped. You know, you don't want any pages where they're like open or exposed. So yeah, I think this is good. This is actually our Kennedy Fox book. So let's get to spraying. I'm gonna move to the sides and then I'm gonna let it fully dry. Like I said before, the goal is to have a light hand. It's really windy out here and like, you're not really supposed to spray paint when it's windy because of overspray, but I wanted to do this today. This is my impulsivity talking. But yeah, so far this hasn't been too difficult, but yeah, let's do this. Okay. 
I sprayed both sides. I'm gonna let it sit now and I will meet y'all back here in just a minute. For you, it'll be like seconds. For me, it's gonna be like a long 20 minutes, so. Okay, it's actually been almost an hour. This book is actually really dry. I'm pretty excited about this one. It looks really good, but I'm gonna finish spraying the Wrangling the Cowboy one. I think that this one's done. Um, I'm about to bring the practice one in my office and unwrap it so you can see that one. And I'm just gonna let this Kennedy Fox one sit out here for another like 30 minutes or an hour and let it dry. It's really windy, so things are drying pretty quickly. This was the practice book. Paint is dry. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited to see how it turned out. You have to be careful when you're still peeling this tape though just want to say that I went a little bit too hard and did rip some of the inside so all right I'm gonna come back when I get this unwrapped okay so here it is oh my goodness actually the spine looks really great like that tape in that corner that I um, showed you guys like that did really good on both sides there wasn't very much there wasn't any bleed over into the pages they said, you know, to do this afterward. So that is this book. Let's put the cover on it. Oh my goodness. That, that is pretty freaking cool. And you can see like on the inside of the pages, like it, because I clamped it. The clamps! There's not any bleed through here. If you spray too close with the spray paint, it'll also like kind of bleed onto the pages. But as I'm just randomly turning, I don't see any of that going on. So that means I clamped it pretty good. I am actually very excited to see our Kennedy Fox book like this. But yeah, this is the first one that I did and it actually turned out really well. I will say that you gotta be careful with how much tape you're putting. I would probably put paper on the inside of the hardcover next time because I actually, when I was peeling the tape off, ripped some of the inside of the book. I don't have any kind of emotional ties to this book, so it's not, you know, like that big of a deal for me. But yeah, I am, I am stoked. And when the Kennedy Fox one dries, I will show you guys what that looks like too. Here's the Kennedy Fox book. And I'm actually very, very excited about this. Carefully take my time taking all the tape off and then I'm gonna show you the final product. It's like opening a present. Here's the moment of truth. Oh my goodness. We gotta do the page cracks. How cool does this make this book look? I mean, look at it. <laughs> pretty freaking cool right I do have some tips already things that I would do differently I would keep using the painters tape absolutely but instead of putting the tape on the inside of the book because that was a struggle getting off I would actually put a page like a piece of this cardstock here on the inside and tape it in there as well so then you don't have tape peeling at this paper because it's a problem inside of this book as well. It's a lot worse in this book, as you can see here. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. Other than that, my spray method was perfect. Look at, um, look at this corner right here. You can see that where I put that tape, I didn't get any paint on the edges on either side, especially this one would be the one that was noticeable because it's white it's a white cover up here that turned out like really well where is my camera is it gonna let me see if i can make it focus i'm just gonna have to insert some photos but yeah like it's very very clean as far as the edges and if you look on the inside pages like there's not any overspray on the inside pages either so yeah i feel like this method was very very good it wasn't too expensive I think each can of spray paint was like eight dollars eight or nine dollars the tape if you have painters tape at home you don't need to buy this i had painters tape at home i didn't really need to buy this i thought it would be less tacky than the tape i had 
but it is very tacky. So that's all you really need. You need this, your paint, but overall I'm very happy with this. Eventually I will do this one in gold, I think, just to do more practice. But yeah, it was a really fun project. If you have a can of spray paint and some painter's tape and paper, I used, what did I tell you? 65 weight cardstock. You can have some really beautiful photograph worthy books. I have no complaints whatsoever. I think they look beautiful. Just with those few changes, I think that it would have been absolutely perfect. This was just a test run and it turned out really cool. So yeah, if you try this, please let me know. If you liked this kind of video, let me know. I might do another one for other books just to try out the gold because I've got some metallic spray paint, which I think would go great with the Checkmate series. And when I get really good at it, I want to do my six book set, that thick one that I show you guys all the time. Fun little project, highly recommend. And that's all I have. I hope you all have an amazing, incredible week. You accomplish all your goals and you write all the words, spray all the books, edit all the words, do all the things. And I will see you again in my next video. Bye guys.